The Calgary Flames are one of the most well-rounded teams in the NHL. Sitting in the top 10 of the league-wide standings for most of the season, the Flames have proven that they are one of the best teams in the Western Conference. It seems strange, then, to look at the Flames from last season. The 2020-21 Calgary Flames missed the playoffs, finishing with a record of 26-27-3, a disappointing season from a team expected to at least make the playoffs. Between then and now, the Flames have had a host of changes to their team and have greatly improved in almost every area of their game. Top to bottom, the team is incredibly solid. So let's take a look at the 2022 Calgary Flames, examine what makes them successful, and determine whether or not they are a true cup contender heading into the playoffs. One of the keys to the success of the Calgary Flames is their unbelievable first line. On what's one of the best lines in the NHL, the Flames run Johnny Goudreau and Matthew Kachuk on the wings, with Elias Lindholm centering them. All three of these players are elite forwards with elite numbers. Elias Lindholm holds the lowest point totals of the three, and is still over a point per game with 68 points in 67 games, not to mention breaking 30 goals for the first time in his career, as Lindholm has 34 goals thus far. Lindholm is producing at the best rate of his career, and is undoubtedly a top-line quality center. Flanking him on the right is Matthew Kachuk. Kachuk, like Lindholm, is also producing over a point per game for the best rate of his career. However, Kachuk is on pace to absolutely destroy his career highs, as he's already beaten his career high in points through 67 games. Kachuk broke 80 points in a season for the first time in his career, and 30 goals for the second time. Kachuk currently has 32 goals and 83 points in 67 games, which puts him on pace to eclipse the 100-point mark for the first time in his career. When you factor in his responsible defensive game and grit, you could argue that Kachuk is the best player on this stacked first line. But the one who's been getting most of the buzz is Johnny Goudreau. Goudreau is scoring at the best rate on the Flames and one of the best rates in the NHL. He broke 30 goals for the third time in his career, 90 points for the second, and looks incredibly likely to break the 100-point mark. Through 82 games, Goudreau's 1.36 points per game puts him on pace for 112 points. Due to his incredible production as the most offensively gifted forward on the Flames, Goudreau has earned a spot in the Hart Trophy conversation as one of the league's most valuable players. While it's unlikely he wins the award over players like Austin Matthews and Igor Shesterkin, Goudreau may be nominated as a finalist, which is a testament to how good he's been for the Flames this season. Outside of the top line, the Flames' forward group is incredibly solid. Mangiape and Backlund to Foley makes up the second line, all solid players. Andrew Mangiape has developed into a quality scorer, breaking the 30-goal mark for the first time in his career while also playing solid defensively. Michael Backlund has played on the Flames his entire career, usually filling that 2C role. Backlund has always been solid there, and continues to be this season as he looks to yet again break the 40-point mark. Toffoli was acquired from Montreal this season for a first-round pick, Tyler Pitlick, and three additional assets. Toffoli has always been a quality top-six forward, and he's hit the ground running thus far in Calgary, averaging nearly a point per game. Depth pieces such as Blake Coleman, Kelly Yarncrook, Dylan Dubé, and Sean Monaghan all play in the bottom six, all of whom are capable of moving up in the lineup if need be. Coleman and Yarncrook are new to the Flames this season while Dubé and Monaghan are accustomed to playing in Calgary. Most of them have done well in their limited roles, but Monaghan in particular has struggled this season. Monaghan unfortunately just recently picked up a season-ending injury, and the Flames will need to adjust their depth accordingly. Even without Monaghan's past contribution rates, the Flames' forward group is stacked all the way through. Any team will have a tough time dealing with their depth in the playoffs. The Flames' defensive core is very strong as well, while the Flames haven't had a defensive superstar since Dougie Hamilton left, each one of their defensemen does a great job with the role that they're given. Noah Hannafin, Rasmus Anderson, Oliver Shillington, and Chris Tanev make up the Flames' top four. Hannafin is your standard quality under-the-radar defenseman. Not a lot of flash in his game, but he's usually in the right position. A solid two-way player that's good for 5-10 to 10 goals a season and 30 or so points. Chris Tanev is very similar to Hannafin in a lot of ways. Tanev is even more defensive-minded, an incredibly solid defender who is an analytical darling. Tanev has never been counted on for much offensive production, but is producing at the best rate of his career this season. So far, Tanev has 24 points through 67 games, breaking his former career high of 20. 
The more impressive seasons among the Flames' blue line belong to Oliver Shillington and Rasmus Anderson. Shillington is an interesting story that has worked wonderfully for the Flames. Only one year ago, on January 11, 2021, Shillington was placed on waivers. He cleared, as no team chose to take a chance on the former second-round pick. However, when Mark Giordano was selected by the Kraken in the expansion draft, a permanent spot opened up on that left side of the defensive core. Shillington has made that spot his own this season, already tripling his career-high season total in points and proving himself to be a quality middle-pairing defenseman. Rasmus Anderson, in his second season averaging 21-plus minutes per game, has finally fully broken out offensively. Anderson had been providing quality two-way play for the Flames for years now, but this year his production has exploded, as he has 41 points through 67 games, 19 more points than his former career high. Backed by this solid top four, the Flames don't have much to worry about defensively. All in all though, the playoffs have shown us time and time again that you can't get anywhere without an elite goaltender. So it's good that the Flames have that too. Jacob Markstrom has been in the top five in both goals against average and save percentage for the majority of this season. He also leads the league in shutouts this season with nine so far, three ahead of the next closest goalie, Ilya Sorokin. Markstrom has been absolutely outstanding for the Flames this season, unquestionably a top five goalie in the league and likely worthy of a Vesna finalist nomination by the end of the season. So, what do we know about the Flames? We know they have one of the best first lines in hockey, with incredible forward depth. We know their defensive core is very solid defensively and can chip in with some offensive production. And we know that they have one of the best goalies in the NHL this season. They don't have the dynamism and flash of Florida or Colorado, but to me, the model of this team sounds very similar to another cup contender. Strong goaltending and incredible forward depth were the primary strengths of the Tampa Bay Lightning in both their past two cup winning seasons and in this season. The fact that the Flames can be closely compared to recent cup winners shows how well they've been built. We know that their type of team can do damage in the playoffs, and given that the West is the much weaker conference, the Flames have a real shot at a deep playoff run this season. Whether or not they manage to pull it off, the Calgary Flames look to be Canada's best shot at winning a cup in the near future.